Good evening. So I thought I would show you guys my new uh, seed starting setup. Um, I've been starting seeds out in my greenhouse, which um, is, it works great sometimes, but I really struggle with keeping consistent moisture and temperature and light. So I, it was, it's great, especially uh, starting stuff in the spring for summer crops, but I decided to try uh, an in-house seed setup. So here we are. I'll come around here a little bit so you can see I have two of the cheap plastic shelves, which I already had one of these. There's four layers here. I already had one of these shelves, and I picked the other up at my local Habitat for Humanity Restore, where they sell wonderful used building materials. Uh, it was only $10, so yay. Love cheap stuff. So, um... The most expensive part of this was the lights. So I got these uh, shop lights. They're specifically for grow lights, they say. Um, they're kind of a pinkish purple. They say white light, but they're a little bit pinkish purple, which is okay. They seem to be doing just fine. And you can see, you can hook up. Let's see if I can get back in here. You can hook up multiples. They hook up to each other. And so I have 16 lights, two boxes of them. I have 16 lights set up. So I have two on each, on each layer of shelves here. <laughs> and they turn out pretty bright. So I hung these with genius help from my husband. I got these chains also from the Habitat for Humanity. We cut them to length. And they're just on these screws up here. They're just hanging on there so I can lower them or raise them. And the most exciting part is I already have some germination let's see let's see oh can you see those little bitty baby plants little bitty baby plants I'm so excited the status seems to be the uh, fastest thing to start up it's uh it's germinated and I just started these three days ago so that's pretty fast another great little thing I picked up from the Habitat for Humanity store is this little sprayer little half gallon sprayer as you can see it was only two dollars Woohoo! um I don't like pumping it every time I have to spray, but it's not the end of the world and it's better than, you know, like a spray bottle. So I did that. The other thing I bought for this, let me move this out of the way. I bought a mechanical timer, which works fabulously well. I've got it set up to come on at 6 a.m. and set, turn off at 10 p.m. so they get a nice 16 hours of light every day. So I bought the timer and the lights from Amazon, of course, because, you know, everything is from, comes from Amazon. And those two things cost me about $128. So it wasn't terribly cheap. And it was a lot of fun setting up. But I have 1,056 plants started over here. Actually, okay, so I've got 1056 plugs. Hmm. Some of the some of the plugs got a lot of seeds because uh, snapdragons are so tiny the little seeds and they just kind of got sprinkled on. So I don't know how many plants are how many seeds are actually in there, but I've got 1056 plugs of my cool weather crops that I'm really going to try to get in the ground this year and hopefully have success with so that I have a nice crop of flowers next spring. I'm very excited. This seems to be working really, really well. I have it in my basement. So pretty, the temperature's pretty steady down here. Humidity is whatever. I thought about covering them with plastic to help contain the humidity. Um, I've decided against it for a number of reasons. I don't know if I'll regret that or not. I shouldn't, certainly hope not. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my little, seeing my little seeds set up. Yay, can't wait to have some plants. <laughs>